If you own a Samsung Galaxy device, then you probably use the quick settings panel every single day. You know, that swipe down from the top where you can adjust your brightness, toggle the Wi-Fi, maybe even mute your sound. It's a very convenient place to have these features. But what if I told you that 99% of Samsung Galaxy owners are completely missing out on a couple of hidden features tucked away right inside of this very panel? A couple of tricks that can save you time, give you pro level controls, and will be hidden from view just as quickly as you revealed them? There are going to be some of you who end up using one of these every single day once you learn about it. So let's get right to it. Most people are happy to adjust the brightness and volume levels of One UI 7 using the quick settings panel here. But very few of you are actually going to know that these two sliders can be activated with a long press gesture. Let's take a look. For the brightness setting, we just need to perform a long press gesture and after a couple of seconds, you'll see this new menu appear. You instantly get an expanded brightness menu. You can still adjust that brightness level right here, but now you also have a dedicated toggle for adaptive brightness. So no more digging through multiple menus just to turn this feature on or off. It's all right there on the fly. And you even get a toggle for enabling and disabling the extra brightness feature that's built into these Samsung Galaxy devices. And the best part is you don't have to dig through the settings application just to find these new settings. Now, on to the second trick. And that's going to be a long press gesture on the volume slider this time. So again, we just perform a tap and hold and then after a couple of seconds, you're presented with this much more powerful sound and effects page. And this is where things get really exciting, especially for the audio enthusiasts out there or anyone who just wants more control over their media. You can still control the main volume slider from here, but then you'll also see a toggle for Dolby Atmos allowing you to quickly toggle it on or off, or even select between different modes like auto, movie, music, and voice modes without ever leaving this panel. Even better, you can dive into the equalizer right from here. Just tap on that and you get quick access to presets like balanced, bass boost, smooth, dynamic, clear, and treble boost. There's even a custom option here if you want to fine tune it even further. This is incredible for quickly adjusting audio to your headphones or speakers while you're on the go. There's even a loudless normalization toggle here. And this is going to help balance the volume levels across various types of different content which can be helpful to prevent your TikTok app from blowing you out after you have been listening to some music on Spotify, for example. You get access to all of these powerful audio tweaks instantly without having to leave the quick settings panel. So, the reason why 99% of Samsung Galaxy owners are not aware of this it's because most people are only expanding the quick settings panel to tap on a tile or to adjust the slider. So those folks are getting into the habit of performing an action quickly and then getting back to whatever else they were doing. It's generally pretty rare to have people perform a long press gesture on a quick settings tile and setting up a long press gesture on the slider itself that's even more rare in my experience. This isn't just the novelty, it's a massive time saver. 
think about how many times you've adjusted your brightness or you wanted to tweak your sound profile. This cuts out the multiple steps of having to open up the settings application and dive through multiple menus just to find what you're doing. So there you have it. A couple of simple hidden gestures within the quick settings panel of your Samsung Galaxy smartphone or tablet. Gestures that unlock a whole new level of control of your display and audio. If you're running One UI 7, you now have no excuse to not fine tune your phone's experience on the fly. If this was something that you were not aware of, please give the video a like to help spread the word and share it with anyone and everyone that you know who owns a Samsung Galaxy smartphone or tablet. For everyone else, I would love to hear which of these hidden features that you actually end up using the most. Because personally, I really like having quick access to the built-in equalizer. But share your experience down below, please. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel either for more Samsung Galaxy tips like this.